So I was inside and I heard the dog start barking and usually that means the UPS man. What do you think he brought? Should we go take a look at my new Nick's boots? Boy, I have been so excited for these to come. Oh, look at that. Oh no. These are Mrs. W's boots. Mine are not here yet. Oh, that's a major disappointment. Hey, Mama, guess what? Hello. Your next boots are here. Yes. Mine are not. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's check out. I don't have my pocket knife on me. Do you have yours? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me too. Ladies, can I have a moment to myself? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. What's inside? My tongues. Those are pretty. <laughs> you got the honey bottoms. I'll get your red card and you know, come out on a fire with me now. So in the box, uh, we've got some the uh, Nick's laces. We've got two false tongues and a small sample size Obanoffs. Do the false tongues do anything besides look good? Yeah, they actually, they protect your um, feet. Uh, right here. Oh, they, from rocks. They protect it from sticks that jab you and rocks and, and they also keep the uh, laces from wearing a hole in the soft leather. This is the leather that's next to your skin. Mm -hmm. And so it's really soft and pliable. Uh, and the laces will wear it out. And they'll actually, you'll feel them on your shins. So it does lots of different things. It's really important. Personal lacer. This is pretty, pretty fancy. Haven't had you do this before. <laughs> These are beautiful. This leather you chose is beautiful. It's really nice. It's really got a nice, a nice sheen on it. I think you have to redo that. Yeah, I got it wrong, don't I? Yeah. I, I like the black, but I probably would have liked the green too. These boots are exceedingly comfortable already. They give a ton of support in my arches and around my feet. Um, You're yeah. not used to wearing anything that's heavy. No, they're definitely heavier and they're definitely thicker than most of my shoes. I know where Cody favors a really tight fitted shoe, I'm fine wearing kind of sloppy boots, um, you know, Sorrels or Boggs, and it doesn't seem to bother me so much. So it'll be interesting to have something with, you know, that's so fitted to my foot and You have ankle. a really, uh, a standard foot, right? You can wear pretty much any shoe. Yeah, this, I don't think they had to make any special cuts for me with this. They just took their standard. Are you going to start doing this for me every morning? I'm not going to. I don't like doing mine. <laughs> but I like this. <laughs> Is that, how does that feel for some snugness? It's very snug. I'm not accustomed to it. It feels lovely though. Your calves are so muscly that you're you're using up almost all the laces. Wish I had calves like you. Yeah. You'd probably look funny with ladies' calves. One thing nice about it though is we both have the same size head, so we both can share half. <laughs> so, you know, beautiful. You know, it's just beautiful. Looks good with a skirt too. I, I've never had a shoe with false tongues. I feel like I'm putting on roller skating boots. They're very comfortable, very supportive. Um, I know that you have to break them in, but you don't feel like you need to break them in. Lots of arch support. A little tight on the calves. Like, I don't know if I just have to grow accustomed to it or 
if they're tight, laced too tightly. So this is, is the first time I've ever seen anyone in Nick's boots in a skirt. You think it's going to be a whole new fashion trend? All right, well, I think you should wear them for uh, as long as you can, and I'll mix up the best way to break them in, according to Nick's, is uh, a mix of alcohol and water. Okay. And we'll keep them sprayed down, and in 100 hours or so, they should, uh, they should be comfortable. Thanks, but those, those are really pretty, really pretty, Mama.